here in Kiev in recent days, the Maidan, Independence Square, has turned into a full-scale war zone. More clashes in Ukraine's capital, Kiev. There is absolutely no doubt that snipers are working here. I've counted 10 bodies. Мы и сегодня не знаем, кто стрелял у людей. Это проблема. Now on the brink of a civil war, at least 70 dead so far, and the death toll rising. Эти технологии, еще раз говорю, от них не застраховано ни одно государство. What we saw here today was a revolution. Хотите узнать, что происходило на Украине? Вы знаете, в большой политике, о чем бы ни говорили, все равно будут говорить о деньгах. НАТО has expanded into 13 countries, up to the borders of Russia. 13 countries. The focus has to be on not allowing this crisis to turn into hot war between Ukraine and Russia. Конечно, без денег здесь не могло быть. Такое количество не государственных, различных общественных организаций, грантов, которые выделялось на Украину, это не есть секретом. Incidentally, one such organization, Hromadske TV, received generous donations from the Dutch and US embassies, as well as from the Renaissance Foundation, an NGO founded by George Soros. I set up a foundation in Ukraine before Ukraine became independent of uh, Russia. Um, and the foundation has been uh, functioning ever since. And it played a, an important part in events now. I like criticism, but it must be my way. Did you see any evidence of U.S. involvement? Did you feel their uh, presence from the U.S.? Очень частыми гостями были представители Соединенных Штатов, конгрессмены, были госпожа Нуланд приезжала очень часто, у нас были с ней дискуссии. Но после этих дискуссий она шла на Майдан и поддерживала протестующих. И обвиняла правоохранительные органы, применялась чрезмерно сила. На самом деле эти все месседжи мы видели на Майдане. Well, members of Congress were visiting Ukraine during that period, most famously Congressman John McCain. So some of the people who were uh, challenging their government, their elected government at that point, were, were being told by the senior U.S. official, a person who ran for president and a top official in the U.S. Congress, that the U.S. was with them. I'm Senator John McCain, and it's always a pleasure to be back in Ukraine. Senator McCain was, uh, in, in a sense, giving the people in the Maiden a feeling that they had the, the backing of the most powerful country on Earth. This is about the future you want for your country. This is about the future you deserve. Делегаций много приезжало. Я говорил, что нельзя вмеш... нельзя говорить, во-первых, неправду. Нельзя становиться на сторону митингующих и отстаивать их права, создавая тем самым и углубляя конфликт. Когда митингующие захватывают правительственные здания и учреждения, скажите, допустимо ли это в любой другой стране, например, чтобы посол Украины пришел к митингующим в Фергюсоне и раздавал там пряники или пирожки и обвинял полицейских Соединенных Штатов Америки. Я считаю, что это недопустимо ни в одной европейской стране. А почему к Украине было такое отношение? Я постоянно имел контакт с господином Байденом, вице-президентом. У меня были частые с ним телефонные переговоры. Но дело в том, что господин Байден говорил одно, а в Украине делали другое. And the US ambassador? Посол Соединенных Штатов в Украине постоянно принимал представителей Майдана у себя в посольстве. Мы это очень хорошо знали, мы это отслеживали. И 
создавалось такое впечатление, что в посольстве Соединенных Штатов существует штаб, который управляет этим процессом. In early February of 2014, as the Maiden crisis was getting more violent, there was a phone call that was intercepted. It was a call between the Assistant Secretary of State for European Affairs, Victoria Nuland, and the U.S. Ambassador to Ukraine, Jeffrey Pyatt. Questions of credibility are being raised after a private chat between two top U.S. diplomats was leaked online. I think Yats is the guy who's got the economic experience, the governing experience. He's, he's the guy, you know, what he needs is Cleach and Tony Book on the outside. I, I, I just think Cleach going in, he's going to be at that level working for Yats and Yuk, it's just not going to work. Yeah, no, it, I, think that's, you know? I think that's right. Okay. Good. Well, do you want us to try to set up a call with him as the next step? Sullivan's come back to me, uh, VFR, saying you need Biden, and I said probably tomorrow for an attaboy and to get the deets to stick. So okay. Biden's willing. So you had this remarkable phone call where you have these two senior officials of the U.S. government apparently talking about a coup or how they were planning to restructure the government of Ukraine. Fuck the EU. No, exactly. I'm not saying the whole U.S. government feels that way. The there is, there is division on this, but the neoconservative element wants very much to change the strategic dynamic in Eastern Europe. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that he has some sort of, how to say, trust among all these Maidan people and, and civil society. And second, what was quite disturbing, the same Olga told that, well, all the evidence shows uh, that people who were killed by snipers from both sides, among policemen and, and people from the streets, that they were the same snipers killing people from both sides. Well, that, yeah. But. So that, and then she also showed me some photos. Uh, she said that has medical doctor. She can, you know, say that it is the same, same handwriting, the same type of bullets. And it's really disturbing that now the new, uh, new coalition that they don't want to investigate what exactly happened. So that there is now stronger and stronger understanding that behind snipers they were. It was not Yanukovych, but it was somebody from the new coalition. I think they do want to investigate. I mean, I didn't, I didn't pick that up. That's interesting. Gosh. Yeah, so that it was, in this sense, disturbing that if it starts now to live its own life very powerfully, that it yeah. already discreditates from very beginning also this new coalition. I mean, this is what they've got to be careful of as well, that they need to demand great change, but they've got to let the RADA function. If the RADA doesn't function, then Absolutely. it's complete chaos. So that it's all, you know, being an activist and a doctor is very, very mm. important, but it means you're not a politician. And somehow they've got to come to a kind of accommodation for the next few weeks Absolutely. with how the country's actually going to run. And then we'll mm. get the elections and things can change. And that's, I think, going to be quite important. I'm planning to go back next, early next week, probably on Monday. Mm. It's, it's really important that now all people from... Europe and also West show up there, so that yeah. it's absolutely... Well, Miroslav's going with the Visegrad group on Friday, uh -huh. Friday, Saturday. William Hague's okay. on Sunday. I'll Good. be back again Monday. Yes, I heard also that Canadian minister is going on Friday, and yesterday also William Burns was, was yeah, there. So we met, I saw Bill, yeah. yeah, we met also with Burns there in Good. Kiev yesterday. Yeah, Good. Yeah, I didn't, uh -huh. know, I didn't know John Bird was going. I'll get hold of him. Okay, okay my friend. Great yeah. to talk to you. Thank well, you Thanks for, for these comments and wish you well.